Welcome everyone. Welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream broadcast for my Empowered Spirit Show where I come on and we talk about what's going on for the week. We look at the energy, the cards, and we align our energy and focus in for the week ahead. So definitely lots of energy going on out in the world at large. How is everybody doing? Are you staying at home? What is going on, everybody? Yes, I am. I'm not in my mask and glasses and hat tonight because I didn't really go anywhere today. The weather was intense, but I am still fired up. I still, uh, still am looking underneath all this energy, asking all these questions, trying to figure out what is indeed the focus that we all really need to go forward with. What is it for you? Yes, these are the questions that we're asking, all right? So we just had that full moon last week, beginning of last week, and now we're kind of moving through that energy, starting to release out. We're coming into the final phase of the moon next week. That's what we're looking at. We're going into this part where really there's a lot of crisis of consciousness. That's the best way to talk about it. Like what is going on? What are you doing? What are these answers? How are we gonna come out of this? All of these questions are being asked and all of these things are really kind of time to look forward to. So I ask you like, what is it you're dealing with? Where are things working for you and where are things not working for you? And that's really kind of important to really understand so you do know what to shift and change, all right? We're not going back to any kind of normal. That's just not gonna happen. We're gonna move forward and it's gonna be a new mindset, a new headset, a new way of looking and thinking and dealing and working with our lives for all of us. And really it's gonna be about pulling in. What are the answers for you? What is your spirit telling you? And as you look to see like what's working and what's not, that's where you're really gonna know the things that you need to shift in your life. All right, yes, you can do a, you can do astrology. I always recommend doing a reading and seeing where these things happen. But if you don't have an astrology reading or you don't, just notice in your life, notice where it is that these things are happening for you. And that's gonna tell you where you need to shift your energy. We have all this energy. We've got the Aries energy. That's that kind of that action, that little bit more aggressive energy. People are getting a little bit unsettled. Everybody's wanting to come out. Although many people are noticing, you know, kind of the things that are working for them, right? Kind of some of that stay at home time, those extra times to do stuff, really to take care of yourself. For me, it's like the first time in a long time, I actually feel like I've caught up with myself. I really do. Like I'm really working at a nicer pace for me. So these are the kind of things that we want to make note of. These are the things that we want to sort out. All right. We're in a month of transition. We're in a month of transformation. All right, I was noticing all the butterflies yesterday up at the medicine wheel. What are butterflies about? Transformation. Things are growing, things are moving, the earth is breathing better. So there is a message underneath this all for every one of us. Where can you breathe better? Where can you transform your life better? What is it that you need to do as we start to think about coming out? Because I know these next few weeks, that's gonna be on everybody's mind. How do we come out? How do we do this? What are the shifts we're going to see? Who's going to make it and who's not? And maybe that who's not doesn't mean you're going to crash and burn, right? And hopefully the virus hasn't gotten you, but you may have to shift everything you've been doing. And that's okay. That is definitely okay. And that's really what all this Capricorn energy is about. This Pluto, Capricorn, Uranus, all of this energy is really hitting us in our karmic fields, our karmic energy. So the question to be asking karmically, where are you right now? What is the karma from your past that just isn't serving? We don't need to go into the stories anymore. We can let this go. We can take those lessons that are underneath and we can move it forward. And then the other part of that is the karma you set forward. The things that you set out, everything we do has a reaction, right? We know that that's the basic principle of karma. But if we look at our soul energy, we take the things from our soul energy. We take the things that we've incarnated with and we move them forward. The lessons we learn, we can start to let go and we can start to deal with some of that karma in a whole better way, but we have to first notice it. And that's really what all this energy is. And it's big, it's breaking us up. It's shaking us up. And actually, I think that's a good thing. I know I'm not happy with the way our structures are. I know our money system needs to change. What about you? And how can we change it? How can we change it? Where do you place your intentions with money? Where are you circulating your money? And that's a big question. Are you circulating it in your community? 
That's the judgment of a community, right? How far that dollar goes, right? Are you just pushing it out and doing what's cheaper and what's easier? Sometimes that happens, but really, if you want your community to survive, let's circulate that energy. Money's an energy. And your workforce too. Where are you supporting your energy and where are you not? Where is she putting your team and where are you not? Where are you supporting your community? And this really is what is going on. All right. As we move into this week, we're going to start to see more of the energy of the release of the moon. All right. That's just how we do the cycles coming to that last phase. We always have dark of the moon that comes in. And sometimes that can like make us feel a little dark. But it really is a chance to just kind of go within and ask these questions. All right. The sun always comes up. The cycles of the moon always shift. And so as we finish out this cycle, right, these next two weeks, I know most of us are going to be anxious to kind of get back to some kind of, I don't even want to use the word normal, right? To get to that next stage, right? But what is it you need to do? All right. And we can't just get to the end. We have to like really kind of take those times and take those steps one at a time. All right. And when we have this, we're looking at the challenges of our soul. We're looking at the challenges of our society right? The consciousness. All right. Again, I keep talking about the whole Corona idea, crown, crown chakra, open up, open up to your higher guidance. How do you do that? Quiet, sit with yourself, call in. Really, it's an intention. Call in your higher self and feel it like coming in right up here. If you judge it or you doubt it, you're just going to judge it and doubt it. It's not going to really work or do you any good. So when you allow yourself to bring this alignment in and you go within, you can really feel that alignment and right up here, call in your higher self and whatever comes in, start talking to that, start aligning with that energy. That's where you start to learn and you are your best answer. And if you need help, you need guidance, get it. There's so much going on. I know for myself, I'm doing so many online things right now. Some are free, some are pay what you can, some are full price, right? We have that scale going all along. We really do. But learn how to do this. This is a challenge. This is a struggle many people are going for because we have not had this time. We have not had this time to do this. We've always been so busy. We've always been running around. I know I am, I am doing that too. But right now, we have the extra time we're not commuting. We have the extra time. Slow down even more. Ask yourself the questions. Work with the cycles of the moon, all right? We're going to soon be going into the Taurus energy, which is the earth energy. So we're going to take the fire of Aries and all this energy that we're having and we're recirculating, and then we're going to bring it into the physical form. That's Aries. That's the earth. All right. And we see this in the physical form in terms of gardening and planting, right? Especially down here in the South. All right. We're starting to get outside. We're putting our feet in the earth. We're moving our gardens around. We're, we're really kind of just transforming the soil. That's what we do. And then we put those little seeds in and then we do that symbolically. Move your energy around, shift your house, declutter, move your energy, and then ask yourself, what are the seeds I want to plant this year? Even this just season, we don't have to go all the way this year because none of us know what that is. So what is the seasons I want to plant in this season? And how can I shift that up? April is a very fertile month. We know this. And so we can look at it symbolically too. All right. So even though we're quarantined and even though we have this insecurity of what's next, what's next, what is your soul calling you to do? Those are your big answers. And then you can start to figure out how to put that into the physical realm. But if you're not asking those soul questions and you're not really focusing in on that, you are going to be even more lost when we come out. So really creating the new. And that does feel uncomfortable. It does. And we're going to have these planetary alignments because we're going to start to shift. All right. We're just getting all that karmic energy going. And then the nodes are going to shift, which is going to be a shifting of our soul purpose. So we're being asked these questions cosmically. The vibrations that come into your dreams, what are they telling you? All right. And creating that new energy requires adaptivity. It requires flexibility. It requires resourcefulness and lots of adjustment. So as we move into this month, we've been talking about this month is all about transformation. Coming out of the winter, into the spring, into a spring we've never seen before. So really, it's like almost like a white canvas. Where are you going to put the paint? The paint of your soul, where are you going to put it? And how are you going to live your truth more and more each day? Your truth. That's the question right there. Your truth. The old structures are dissolving. We've been talking about this. And this is what all this Capricorn energy is. All of this energy going forward. All right. We do have that. We did have that shift with Mercury, which is our voice and being able to express what we want to do. And that's part of the transformation, too. But really, we can't go anywhere, but we certainly can travel inside. All right. And I know for myself, lots and lots of meditation, lots and lots of meditation. And it feels good. And the more meditation you do, the easier it is to get into it. 
And that's what's going to really make a difference in your life as well. All right. It's going to be different for every person coming out of this. We still have a couple more weeks to hunker down. I know people are getting a little anxious about it, but really take some time for you. And that's what really is important as we move through this next week. All right. We're finishing up the Aries energy. We're going to start to see by next week coming into the Taurus. All right. So that energy is going to move from the fire into the earth. The earth is really kind of going to help you to get out there. I truly believe spending time on the earth right now is our biggest lesson. All right. And that's what we can really hold on to. So as we move through this week, all right, we're going to start to move into some of the dark of the moon, as I mentioned. All right. Next Tuesday, Wednesday, and you might start to feel your energy dropping. And this is where really digging into the resources of who you are is going to be most important. All right. And then by the time we come around to next weekend, I think the new moon comes around at the beginning of the following week. Then we'll start to see some of this lifting up and then we're going to have more answers, too. All right. So take this time. Don't let it just run past you. And, you know, I know everybody's saying, oh, you don't have to do anything right now. You can numb out if you want. And you can. And then all of a sudden we're going to be back at it and you're not going to have learned anything. That's how I see it. So take some time and learn some of these lessons for you right now. All right. With this energy. I mean, even like with the Jupiter energy in Capricorn. All right. Right. We've had a lot of this breaking up. But if you also too put some intentions out there, Jupiter can bring some good fortune. All right. It has exploded a little bit, not like we were expecting it. But that's up to each and every individual person on to what they're doing right now. And these higher vibrations of expression, you can align with it. And that's really what we are right now, transitioning through, moving through all this energy that's been breaking up. We're going to see some shifts coming forward. We're not out of the woods. We're not. But we are going to see a little bit of the pandemic lesson, especially as we come out. These next week is still going to be a little bit intense, but we're going to start to see it lessen. So where do you want to be? All right. Mother Nature has unrevealed, has, has, we said this last week, has really just kind of unraveled is what I'm trying to say in the blink of an eye. But I don't think it's going to be a blink of an eye that brings us back together. Do you? Good question, right? I don't think it is. It really is. Time to go within, look and see, align your forces so that when we do come out, you are in a better position. All right. And maybe that's just a little shift or maybe it's a bigger shift. It really depends on what you're doing. Are you joining in on these meditations people are out there doing? Are you in a global situation? Are you having community? Or are you just kind of gone undercover? These are the questions to really look for. These are the things we're going to feel as we move into this week, especially with the, the, the last phase of the cycle of the moon until we come into a new situation in about another week or so. So really don't let yourself get too down this week. Remember to do your practices. Take time for you. And if you haven't been able to do that or you don't know how, Get my guide, first and foremost. You can get it on, the, on my website, terryannhyman.com. It's free. Go with it. And I promise you, step by step, you will start to build a spiritual practice. It's not hard. In fact, it's kind of fun. It's kind of nice and refreshing that you can go in and do that. And as the moon decreases in light, know that there is light coming around again. And this darkness within yourself, you can release and let go. All right. So as we move through, again, align your forces, take some time for you and tune in to the messages within your own soul. So let's just do that right now. Let's take a moment before we look to the cards and just spend a few moments breathing, pausing and taking some time to feel that guidance for your own self. All right. So wherever you are, if you can, closing your eyes, just take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, lighting a little sage here. Closing your eyes if you can for a moment. Inhaling, lifting the breath all the way up the body. And exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling. And exhaling. This is where we call in those higher, your higher self. Call in your higher guidance. Begin to feel that alignment coming in for you. What does that feel like? Inhaling and exhaling. Taking this time to set an intention for your week. Feel it coming into that third eye center, allowing it to align with your higher self with your spirit, your soul work at this time. Inhaling and exhaling. And then noticing how you will feel 
as these intentions come in and let those emotions elevate, let them raise up abundance, prosperity, joy, safety, whatever it is for you, health, and allow those intentions to radiate out through the auric field as we call in the directions for guidance and protection and the medicine wheel, the season we find in the direction of the east where the sun rises, giving us hope each and every day where we plant those seeds of intentions, set those energies out for you. So we call in to the east, the south, the west and the north, above us, below us, right into the very center. That's where we go to pray and release those energies right now, setting them out there for you. Just take a moment. Sending Reiki out to you. Han Chen Se Shonen, Han Chen Se Shonen, Han Chen Se Shonen. And just allow this energy to surround you right now in the highest light for yourself. Feel the energy coming in through the crown, moving all the way down through the auric field. Inhaling and exhaling. Just imagine, visualize yourself surrounded in this beautiful light of energy. All for the highest good. We send it out to the world right now for peace, for peace for each and every person. May we find our way amongst this troubled time through this beautiful energy of light, through this higher vibration that we all can radiate with, sending out the blessings to each and every one. To all those affected by the virus, may their health return. To our first responders, for all those in the hospitals, the doctors, everybody caring and healing, sending them love and light as well. And to you, you matter. Your soul matters at this time. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, feel that energy coming in. It feels so good going out and just sealing this energy in. Let it radiate around you to move into the week. Inhaling and exhaling. Just bringing that awareness back. Coming back. My bowls. So as we go to look at the cards, we do have some very interesting cards this week, all about healing, all about really staying strong. The first one, I feel like we've had a couple of these these last couple of weeks, maybe this one too, is the seven, is the seven of wands. This is all about perseverance, shining your light, all right, against all else. What is your soul saying? Exactly what we're talking about, exactly what the transits are right now. What is your soul saying? What is your light? That is what you want to shine. Be strong in that light. All right. Maybe you are a little different. All right. That's okay. Me too. All right. And nothing is the same. We've all been kind of leveled out. How will you persevere? And how will you allow that light to come forward? This is such a great card for all of us. Ask those questions of your soul. All right. If you chose card number one, yes, we've had this like every week, the death card. That's transformation. And that's actually the theme of the month, transformation. That's shedding the skin, shedding what no longer works. So maybe there's a little bit more to do. All right, where can you apply this in your life? If you chose card number two, six of swords. So this is more of the mind, all right? And this is all those things that aren't working. See all this down here, all the swords. It's time to let the old thoughts, the old patterns, let them go. We don't need them. Because look what's above us. We will find that rainbow. Where are the rainbows in your life? We will find that. You have to rise above it. Get out of the chatter. This is all of the mind, all of the mind. All right, sixes are about change. We are going to change. So letting go of the way you normally think is going to be really important. Open up to a new perspective, all right? We're gonna see that come forward very soon, but you do need to do the work. And then the third card is the Eight of Cups. And again, this is all about what's not working anymore. And this is more of the heart. This was of the mind. This is of the heart. 
all that old energy. This is like that karma energy we were talking about. What is the karma you can let go of? What isn't working anymore? That's what you want to let go of. All right. We're going to be able to let this go. We're going to move beyond what we feels like is insurmountable, the mountain. And we're going to open up to new energy. All right. All this is coming, but we still have to do some work. We still have to let go of the processes that aren't working, the old patterns that you're thinking that aren't working, really important. And as you do, seven, this is seven, seven is spirituality. Where's your spirit? Where's your consciousness? Where can you rise above and come into a new, new, as Joe would say, a new rewiring of the brain, all right? Dr. Joe Dispenza, love his work. Where can you rewire your own consciousness in your brain right now? All right, those are the cards that we all have to work with this week. All right. Let me know how that sits for you. All right. I am online a lot this week. Tomorrow morning, Monday, I'll be in the Empowered Spirit Circle doing tapping. Motivation Monday. Come join me. No charge. Just come into the group. Find me on Facebook. All right. I am teaching for Birmingham Yoga Wednesday night. Reiki Restorative. It's really been working out great. All right. Birmingham Yoga has a pay as you can. Thursday, lunch and learn. More tapping with practice works. No cost. Just come join. Friday, I'm doing another Reiki Circle with them. So that's my online. I'm also popping in and out. And also Tina, Tina Conroy from the Intuitive Woman podcast. She will be joining us Wednesday in the group. We're going to talk about intuitively creating, intuitively choosing crystals and creating meditations. All right. She's been doing some great ones on her podcast. So maybe you've wondered how to create a meditation for yourself or maybe you'll lead a group. Great way to learn. That's Wednesday at noon in the group as well. So, so much is going on. Our podcast this week was really great. Laura. Laura Guthrie from Natural Wellness Transformations. She was in, she's very articulate in how she talks about it. It was a really good conversation, especially talking about grief. I really didn't realize how much the grief of the world was affecting me and things that you can do. We offer another tip on practical spirituality. Great podcast, check it out and see. All right, definitely a lot going on. Look for the postings, come join in. This is the opportunity now to take advantage of all these things going on around us. All right. If anybody would like a card, let me know. Let me see. I see a bunch of people over here on Facebook as well. Rachel in Mississippi. Ooh, thankful we had some tornadoes nearby. Oh, goodness. Yes, I know. It's thundering here. Luckily, I think we have missed them too. We're in Jefferson County down here. All right. So let me know if you would like a card. Hi, Jackie. Yes, please. All right, Jackie. How's everything? You still in California? Marissa, take a card too. All right, Jackie, you got the full card. I love this because this is a new beginning. This is like at the beginning of the tarot. So there is some new energy coming forward for you. Have some innocence about it. Don't overthink it, all right? Use that energy to step forward into a new path. All right, tell me, I have a feeling there's something you're thinking about. This is a good sign, all right? You're being supported by the universe. Let me know if I'm right about that. I have a feeling I know what you're thinking about. Anyway, that's that telepathy, right? All right, Maris. Maris, how's everything up in Vancouver? Maris, you you got great. Yes. All right. And can Ashley, my host? Yes, Ashley can have one too. Marissa, this one is for you. I love this because this is the high priestess. And you're doing a lot of learning right now, a lot of energy. And it's really hard, I know, to be on your own, but you're doing really great. The high priestess is really owning the energy of the universe. You're spending great time outside. That's our greatest message is connecting with Mother Earth. Trust the knowledge that you are learning right now. It will pay off. All right. Great card. The high priestess. That's like standing her ground with the mystery schools. I know. Right. All right. All right. Um, this one is for Ash. And then Summer, I'll come back to you. This is Ashley Jackie for your host. It's the six of pentacles. So this is a card of growth. All right. I know right now many of us may not feel like we have the opportunity to grow, but we will. We're going to see this coming around. It's going to be a little delayed in coming out, but there is growth going on. So tell her to keep doing what she's doing. Keep working at it. I always love this card because there's so much growth in this. And it's a really great time to keep doing what she's doing and keep growing and building. All right. So it is working for her. Yes, she wants to switch focus. All right. Yes, I got that, Jackie. All right. Summer card for you. Summer, this is the three of pentacles. All right, so this is about where you take a step back and look at what is working for you in your life, all right? I know you're going through lots of changes, even spiritually too. These are all working out. These are connecting. And it's like matching, like see how this matches the mountain that's there. So you can do whatever it is you do. Just pull back, take a look out, and you really are moving through some challenging times and you're doing really good. Stay strong. That mountain is gonna be gone soon, all right? A great card. 
because it does, I'm sure, feel like how are you ever going to get through that? But you will. It's matching that energy for you. All right. All right. Let's see if I missed anybody. Summer, let me know if that makes sense. If I missed anybody. Hey, hey, a card for you. All right. Jenny, so much love. Right back at you. All right. A, you've got Daughter of Wands. All right, so this is a great card about your passions and your desires and transformational energy. So maintain an innocent quality to that. Don't overthink it. Just allow all this energy to come in for you. It would be a good time to make a journal too. All right, keep a journal because this is a lot of transformation energy and it's of wands, which is passions and desires. So really be able to really open up to that. The daughter energy is that young, innocent energy, but look how that grows and look at that transformation. Great card, all right? I love that card. All right, anybody else? Kate, yes. Jenny, yes. Shad, hey, Shad. All right, so Kate, this card is for you, which is the five of swords. All right, so this card is always about self-sabotage, not cutting yourself off. And it's of the mind. So again, I'm just going to say like, get out of the chatter of the mind, get out of the old way of thinking, find a new way. Cause look how it just kind of cuts it off. So let this go while you allow the new minds, new thoughts to grow for you in a better light. All right. Whenever we have the minds, fives are always about conflict. Check in with the mind, do some deep breathing, do some tapping, come join me in tapping tomorrow and get rid of any of that self-sabotage or cutting yourself off some better thoughts for you. All right. Always a good reminder. All right. Jenny, this card is for you. Jenny, eight of pentacles. So this is all about like the webs we weave. This is like the details in your lives, that intricate pattern. I always love this card. It is abundance and it is about doing the work you're doing, building that web, that communicating, that reaching out. I always love it because if you look at a web, at a um, spider web, it's all fascinating, right? So keep reaching out and doing what you're doing. Know that you're building something that's really amazing and intricate. All right. I love that. And I love the work that you do. All right. Chad, a card for you. A said, awesome. Kate said, thank you. All right. Chad, the star. Great card. Major Arcana. This is about not giving up hope, knowing and trusting that there's a shining light out there for you. All right. So just keep working what you're working through. Let all that excess energy go, all right? That was kind of like when we looked at the cards we drew today, this Eight of Cups, let it go, over. You're gonna be okay, and this is a great one for you to remember. There is a bright star out there for you. Shine your light, all right? Really great card, all right? Lots of hope in that as well. All right, Kate said, thank you. A said, thank you so much, great. All right, Chad, let me know how that registered for you as well. All right. Anybody else I missed? Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. She got a garden today. Yay. Growth everywhere. Oh, I love that. What a great representation. All right. Really, really good. So there is a lot of hope out there, y'all. We really just have to keep doing our work. We really do just keep going within your spirit, asking those questions. Little changes will add up. All right. Don't give up. Do take some time to really enjoy your spirit and the work that you're doing. Enjoy those meditations. Before we know it, things will go back to being busy and bustling. But I do hope, I really hope that the world, including you, can take some time to know your spirit, to know that consciousness is shifting and changing, and that we can all rise above and find a new consciousness to live by. So take some time for you. Thank you again. Thank you again for joining me. This is your host, Terry Ann Hyman. To your spirit, I must stay.